Uh, good afternoon, uh, YouTube followers and friends. <clears throat> I uh, thought I'd give an update on how things are going with me. Uh, man, today I'm uh, I'm just I'm I'm, <clears throat> I'm feeling super positive today. Uh, yesterday, I thought I had made a huge mistake. I was on Trucker's Truth and I I clicked a link to um, apply for. Uh, several trucking jobs and uh and starting right away yesterday and uh, and into today uh i've received just damn near 50 emails from uh, various trucking companies uh, and today alone i've received 13 phone calls again from various companies uh, now not all of them are interested in me a lot of them <clears throat> these recruiters get your information and they uh they try to contact you and you don't meet their minimum requirements or you're not in their area. I think they just jump on it because they, they realize that there's a shortage of truckers. Uh, so that's, uh, that's beneficial for me. Uh, but many of these companies uh, are interested in me, even though I don't have any experience. Uh, you know, for the last three months, I just, I just knew that I was going to be stuck with, you know, one of four or five uh, starter companies that almost everybody tells me that people don't stay at them more than a year or so and uh, and now it's looking like I have a whole lot more options from some companies that seem to be really well respected uh, so so I'm unsure what I'm what I'm gonna do yet uh, but I'm not so much leaning towards what I've been uh, leaning to in the past now I have a lot of research to do I've got other people to talk to and uh, you know, get online and find out what some of these companies are about. Um, some of them are ready to put me to work as soon as I get my CDL, which I'm taking my CDL driving test Monday. So hopefully I'll pass that and I'll have it that day. Uh, other ones, uh, you know, want me to say it might be better to wait until I uh, go ahead and move. You know, I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to move in the next two to three months, uh, depending on how quickly my house sells. Uh, but there's a there's a local company right here in my town, uh, just a mom and pop company. They own five trucks, and uh, and he's ready to put me to work right away. Also, and uh, and uh, he does you know mostly mostly short stuff you know from manufacturers in Houston, going to Dallas to the Home Depot distribution, doing some tractor supply stuff, going into Oklahoma. And he does have some stuff that goes further away that might, uh, you know, take seven, eight days to, to go and make the run. But, but pretty much you're gone two or three days and you're home, um, which would work out beautifully for me while we're trying to get packed and, and get this house sold. Uh, so I'm going to go talk to him Monday. Uh, I've already, my, the person that's been teaching me to drive has, uh, has recommended me for him. And, uh, and he seems real interested and uh, doesn't seem to be bothered by the fact that I don't have any experience. Uh, I've been driving with his company now off and on for three months, you know, going through training. So he knows I've been driving his trucks already and, uh, and I know some of the routes. So this might be a good way to get me two or three months experience, which will open some more doors because many of these companies that contacted me uh, via email, you know, will require anywhere, you know, three months experience. So if I get that here, that's going to open some doors too. Uh, but most of these companies that have contacted me by phone, either they want me to go to work for them right now or as soon as I move to Missouri or I'm about to move to Missouri, they want me to contact them and, uh, and, and apply again or, you know, whatever I need to do to be able to get on with them. So, so I'm digging, I'm digging the options and I'm feeling uh, super, super positive about that. Uh, wanted to, if I haven't mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again. I want to, want to recommend uh, a, uh, uh, an organization that I'm a part of. It's, they're on Facebook and on Zello. They're called the STA, or Super Truckers of America. If you look them up on Zello, which is a uh, it's a walkie-talkie app, um, and then they also have a Facebook page. <clears throat> These guys have been um, 
really super helpful. Took them a while to warm up to me, but uh, but they've been great and they've given me a lot of good advice. Um, and then I've had some bad advice too, but you know, most of it has been really good advice and I've been real happy with these guys. They're making a real effort to bring the trucking community uh, back together and, uh, and they're doing real good things. They're doing a, uh, a cruise um, going out of New Orleans, October 22nd of 2017. Uh, you can find that information on the Facebook page. It's a seven day cruise and we'll be going to uh, out of New Orleans to uh, Honduras, Belize and Cozumel. Uh, me and my wife are signed up as well, as well as many other people are and it's gonna continue to grow and it's gonna be a fantastic time. So I highly encourage you to look into it. Even if you're not a truck driver yet, if you're looking at getting into trucking and you're looking for information, uh, join up and talk to these guys, uh, guys and gals. I'm sorry, no one's slapping. Uh, a lot of them have a whole lot of experience, as well as some that doesn't have so much experience, but everybody's full of uh, good information. If you're thin-skinned, uh, don't even bother. These guys are going to bust your balls, and uh, that's just the way it is. So uh, if you are easily offended, uh, it's not the group for you. Uh, if you're one of those that love to stir up drama, it's not for you either. You'll be bounced out pretty quick if, they, if that's what you're into. Uh, but, but look them up. Um, also, I wanted to mention, uh, you know, a lot of people that have been following me, um, you know, it's taken me longer than I thought to get my CDL. I thought, it, you know, I thought I'd be able to get it all knocked out in a couple weeks, and it ended up taking me about three months. In hindsight, um, Knowing what I know now, I would have been far better off going to trucking school. Uh, about half of these starter companies won't accept me because I didn't go to trucking school. Now I saved anywhere from three to ten thousand dollars by not going, but it still took me three months, and I've only got half the options. So until I build up some experience few of these starter companies I don't even have the option of going to. So if there's any way that you can pull off the funds to go to trucking school, uh, that's the way I would go. Uh, me, I mean, I'm fortunate. I have a lot of options to do, but I'm 49 years old. I haven't had a traffic ticket since 1987. I have no criminal history and never had a DWI. Um, in 30 years, I've had three jobs. So there's a lot of things open to me that looks real good on a resume that might not be look so good for a young person. Um, so if you have the option to go to trucking school, that's the way I would recommend you doing it and not the way that I've done it. Uh, they're gonna teach you a lot of stuff that I'm gonna end up learning over the road uh, that I would have learned in school. But like I say, I didn't think it was gonna take me three months to get my CDL. But I should be done with it on Monday. Fingers crossed, I hope. Wish me luck. I uh, wanted to give a shout out to uh, Tex Crowley. Uh, man, he's a new subscriber on my channel, but he's an old YouTuber. Uh, he's been trucking for over 20 years and, uh, and he does a lot of trucking videos. Um, I didn't find him till later on. He's not one that just popped up, but I've heard his name many times. Uh, I've spent a lot of time watching his videos over the last week or so, and, uh, and it's just great information. He tells about his history and how he got into trucking and some of the companies he's worked for, the good and the bad. As he's out on the road, as he, because he is still a truck driver, he uh, he interviews other truck drivers, uh, a lot of lady truck drivers, uh, and uh, and they all tell their story. Um, the great videos, and I, and I highly encourage you to go look at him. Uh, also, look up Ike Stevens. Um, again, he, he's, in, he's been driving a long time, and he gives a lot of good information, and he doesn't sugarcoat it. Um, and, and there's many others. And nobody yell at me. If you want mention next time on my video, I'll be happy to mention you. You're not, I'm not hurting anybody. I don't have a lot of followers. <laughs> so, so this information isn't going to get out to a lot of people. So anyway, and uh, man, I'm gonna give another shout out to LaShawn Parks and my buddy John Heron. They got me to vaping. I haven't had a cigarette since February 29th. And uh, man, you guys are lifesavers. I'm sleeping better, I'm 
breathing better, my food tastes better, and this is the first time in my life that I've quit that I don't crave a cigarette at all. I am so proud of myself, and I'm so happy to have run across you guys. Uh, John, man, friends for life, brother, 20-year friend of mine, over 20 years that I just reconnected with. Uh, anyway, again, if you like what you see, subscribe and share and like and whatever it else all the YouTube superstars say to do uh, to make them grow. I'd love to have a lot of subscribers, but in the meantime, I'll just take what, what I get here. Uh, have any comments, leave them below, and uh, I might answer them. I might ignore you. No telling. In the meantime, I'm Buck Rub. I'm out.